right, we got some stuff loaded up here. Um, basically, all I did was because we already determined that the the charge out of my gun, uh, well, we think anyways, it's going to work. We don't we, we don't we don't have a pressure uh, problem. So uh, what I did was I put three of each. This one here is a 2.235, which is touching the lands, just on the lands, and then we dropped down to uh, 2.230, oh, uh, 5,000. So we went uh, in 5,000 increments, uh, three shots a piece. That'll give us an idea um, where we want to start, what, uh, you know, kind of that area to focus on. Does it like to jump? Does it like to be on the lands? Does it, does it like it somewhere in between? Um, so we'll get out to the range um, and we'll, we'll test these and see, you know, what, it, what is it like? So um, let's go to the range. Okay, here we are, back at the range. A um, little bit windy out today. We got winds going anywhere from uh, about four up to 10 miles an hour. So not perfect um, for shooting for you know groups, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a headwind, so we're kind of okay. Um, temperature out here right now is just under 70 degrees. I wanna make sure we record all this stuff. Uh, get yourself a good instrument, uh, just because if you want to ever refer back to it, you know right where you're at. There's a little bit of a gust. That took us up to seven. So a uh, little bit uh, little bit gusty, but uh, that's all right. So one thing we want to do is I want to, uh, I just cleaned that gun up last night, so I'm going to shoot uh, two fouling shots. And of course I brought all kinds of this uh, stuff that still needs to be fire formed, so that's what I'll shoot. Um, I will say that uh, those were 87 grain bullets. We are shooting 108 grain bullets today. Uh, it's it's very possible that the first two shots of the 108 grain may not provide the best group because uh, you're going to get uh, different harmonics. Your barrel is actually going to be in a different place. We're talking you know min minimal minuscule amounts, but it's tr it's actually true for a lot of rifles. So um, keep an eye on the. Uh, on the temperature of your ammunition. Um, bees. I hate bees. Uh, so let's see here. We're at 68.5 degrees. Um, it's been my experience with the Hornady AMAX, or the, uh, the well, not the AMAX, the, the, the ELDs, 108 grain ELDs, that um, they don't like a large jump, they like a little jump. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the rounds that are about, th uh, well, let's see, they would be, uh, oh, about 20 thousandths off the lands, and we'll work our way up, so, uh, more bees. Um, so anyways, I guess that's enough uh, chit chat, let's get, uh, let's get to shooting. Okay. Um, we're just letting the gun cool down here. It's always good to let your gun cool down between your, your groups because, um, you know, as the barrel warms up, uh, things get a little bit more uh, flexible, shall we say. So, uh, these particular ones here were uh, a little far off the lands, uh, moving up to uh, point, uh, 2.220, and then these this group here, uh, 2.225, which is... I have those turned up a different way for a reason. Um, that is 10 thousandths off the land. While we're letting this gun cool, let's go see why I turned those up the other way. Just in case anybody's wondering, this is the range I shoot at here. Pretty nice place. That's a pistol bay over there facing the other direction. And 50 yard line, 100, and then 200 at the back berm up there. Nice place. Surprised the deer aren't out here. We always used to have to chase the deer off the field. Okay, here's the first group. Uh, that was the very first shot. These were the other two shots. Those there were just uh, the fouling rounds. This is the second group here. Let's take a look at the third group. I don't know what that's going to measure, but it's tiny. That's why I flipped those cases the other direction. So next we're going to shoot this uh, spot here and this spot here and of course since we're since i zeroed on uh, with 87 grain of course uh, my point of in impact is going to shift and again we're just shooting groups so these are one inch squares so 
let's uh, let's get back up to the gun and let her cool off just a little bit more. We'll get these other two things shot up and get back to the shop. Next up, five thousandths off the lands. Forget these. Those don't suck either, but the other group was just slightly better from what I can tell from here, so we'll use that. Let's check the temperature real quick. All right. <clears throat> On the lands, let's see what they do. I'm going to check for pressure on this because I put them on the lands. No, we're good. Let's take a walk. So anytime you're uh, putting bullets on the lands, you can spike your pressures. So it's always uh, it's always a good habit, just to, especially when you're nearing that max load. You don't want to put yourself in an unsafe situation. So it's always a good idea just to just to check uh, that first shot, make sure you don't have any pressure signs or issues, sticky bolts, things like that, blowing primers, uh, whatever. So there's my tip for the afternoon. Okay, here we are folks, first group, second group, whoop, third group, fourth group, fifth group. Quite frankly, I think they're all pretty acceptable with, uh, with the exception of this one, but even this one here is going to be under an inch, but clearly we have a winner. So I say we better get home and take some measurements, talk about this. Here are the final measurements. First shot group, 0.695. There's our foul shots. And uh, second shot group, 1.037. There's our winner, 0.237, third shot group. And the fourth shot group came in at uh, 0.324, uh, still very, very acceptable. And this fifth one as well, this was on the lands at 0.425. This was five, or I'm sorry, ten thousandths off the lands, which has been my experience with Hornady, that uh, that uh, ten thousandths on those Hornady ELD bullets, they seem to perform very well there. And this here was five thousandths off the lands. So there you have that. Well, that's pretty good. Um, you, you really can't beat that kind of group. Um, you know, pay attention to the rifle build do some really good load development and you know if you've got all the right combinations that's what you can come up with so uh, but you also have to use good quality stuff um, again Shillin if you've never heard of them look them up uh, give them a call uh, send them an email look at their website uh, www.shillin.com uh, this is the ratcheted rifled barrel and so far I'm incredibly incredibly impressed with this barrel and by the way when I was cleaning it the other day that thing, it cleans really easy, which is one of the things they say, is it cleans easier than the standard, standard button barrel, right? So, and, and it's true, it, it just poof, cleaned right up. So, big, big thank you to Shillin. Um, they make a, a great product, and you guys have probably heard me before. I own a lot of Shillin barrels, and this is the first ratcheted rifled barrel I, I own. 
um, but they're a great company, so uh, big, big thumbs up to Schillen. Also, this SWFA scope, this is the uh, 16 by 42. Um, I am really enjoying this scope. I have a 10 by, I have several 12 bys, all fixed power scopes. The 16 um, is, is kind of my new favorite. Uh, it's got real nice clear gl uh, glass in it. Um, I've been dialing this thing all over the place as part of a test too, just when I'm shooting some of the, when I'm just fire forming, you know, up, run it up, run it down. I'm just far fire forming brass anyways. And I can come right back to zero on this thing. And th this thing, well, number one, if you shoot groups like that, uh, clearly the scope is holding right where it should, obviously. So um, now they sent me this scope to test. So a huge, huge shout out to SWFA for another great product uh, at a great price. These things are $299. I don't know how they can sell them that cheap, but they do. Uh, what SWFA does not know yet is I'm not sending this back to them. I'm going to send them some money because I like that scope a lot. And uh, I, I did have a chance just to kind of look across uh, some longer distances. And it's, uh, it's definitely going to work well beyond 1,000 yards for me. So um, the ballistics on this rifle, by the way, should put me out to just under 1,600 uh, yards. And, uh, and that is, you know, now the energy getting there is, uh, you know, it's, it's about 350 roughly foot-pounds of, of, of energy. Um, but that right right under 1600 yards is where it starts to enter into that transonic zone where things get a little funky um, so this particular setup the 16 power scope will get me there the shill and barrel clearly is a winner the Boyd stock very comfortable I love the adjustable cheek piece on this um, the trigger work we did here very very nice crisp hit the wall it breaks like glass just a great great setup um, all said and done in this entire build with purchasing the original gun I'm gonna have about twelve hundred dollars into this rifle I don't think you could ever find a factory rifle for twelve hundred dollars including the cost of the scope um, that will shoot a group at basically a quarter of an inch good luck if you can find that so I'm not saying maybe something doesn't exist but Anyways, especially with the ballistics that this thing is, is performing with. Um, so uh, I just I had to take a second and just say thank you so much to SWFA for sending this to test. And, and now you've sold me another scope. Uh, and then, of course, Shillin. So uh, what, a, what a great company they are. Um, so anyways, uh, there's all my load data. That's for me. Again, you, you guys have to work up your own stuff. Uh, do not copy my stuff. Uh, it's it could be very very it could be deadly to be honest with you um, So you, you really have to pay attention to your gun what you're shooting and, and you know look at the series go back and look read and, and Talk to people and just get get as much information as you can so um, but for my particular gun here uh, 10 it's 10 thousandths off the lands measuring it to uh, uh, 2.225 to the ogive of the bullet ogive somebody corrected me and thank you because I don't want to keep saying the wrong thing so it's the it's the ogive um, uh, 44.5 grains of hybrid 100 V uh, and CCI 250 primers now the hybrid 100 V there's not a lot of data out there on this powder yet but uh, because it's a relatively new powder but I, th it's, I think it's gonna start catching on because uh, it certainly has been a, a real winner for me uh, in, a, in a couple different rifles so uh, several actually different rifles um, so that being said uh, we have a lot more coming uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and share it share the video get the word out there I really would, would appreciate that because it truly does help this channel uh, quite a bit uh, also um, anytime that I have a product like this scope here I will leave an affiliate link below if you use the affiliate link it actually helps support this channel it doesn't cost you an extra red penny nothing doesn't cost you anything extra so but it actually does help help this channel and help our business grow so anyways uh thanks for watching and we'll be back really soon with more stuff so stay tuned folks